Hi, I'm Gary Parker. Welcome back to Watts Contractor Corner. We are in the belly of our corporate headquarters. We're here in the wet lab, as we affectionately call it. Joined today with Cameron Rappaport. He is everything backflow specialist. Thanks for joining us, Cameron. We're looking at a traditional Watts 4-inch 909. They're installed everywhere, all day, every day in America and worldwide for that matter. But we are trying to enhance this for our customers. And we get a lot of feedback from contractors and we're trying to figure out how to make their lives easier in the field and by extension their end users. We've incorporated a smart and connected strategy. Cameron, please tell me what we are going to do to enhance this tried and true product. Absolutely. So. Your backflow preventer is your safety device. Yep. It is helping us keep our drinking water system safe. Uh, one part of how it does that is it has this relief valve. And what the relief valve is here for is if something goes wrong with the backflow preventer and you potentially have something toxic downstream, mm -hmm. it's going to make sure that all of that toxic water, rather than flowing back into our drinking water system, goes out the relief valve and down the drain. So it's doing its job. It's getting rid of the bad stuff. It's doing its job. It's getting rid of the bad stuff. Okay. What a lot of people don't realize, especially the customers who actually own these valves, is that this can put out a lot of water in some certain situations. You get a big piece of something, you know, concrete, two by four, pipe scale, stuck in that first check, mm -hmm. the relief valve is going to open. Sure. And it's doing its job, but it's going to put a lot of water on the floor. Okay. And one big problem we run into is that mechanical room drains, they just aren't sized properly for that catastrophic amount of water that can come out of this relief. So you got potential thousands of gallons coming down, trying to be choked down by a two or three inch drain in the mechanical room. It's sized them properly. That could be a bad day at the office. Absolutely. Yeah. And these are usually, they're tucked away somewhere down in a corner of a basement or in a mechanical room behind a locked door. And you don't realize until you walk by and your feet get wet. Yeah. But then it's too late. So it sounds like once this already starts dumping, you're looking at a big problem. So how do we get upstream from that, pardon the pun, to prevent that catastrophic? Absolutely. So we have what is called our Sentry Plus Alert System. So what this is designed to do is to sense when that discharge is happening. And again, it's just the valve doing its job. Right. But it's going to sense when that discharge is happening, and it's going to give you some sort of alert, mm -hmm. uh, and potentially even take some actions to be able to mitigate the risk from this. So this is all about risk mitigation, making sure that the customers are being protected. So how does it actually start to know what's really happening? Absolutely. So. The first thing it needs to do is it needs to be able to sense when the water is coming down. So right. typically, you know, you have your relief valve, you have an air gap off that relief valve, and then you'll have some sort of indirect waste piping down over to wherever the drain the mechanical room is. So mm -hmm. this will go in a T in this drain. It's a what we call a flood sensor. And all it is is it's looking for water to come into, in contact with these two prompts. Mm -hmm. It's looking for water 24-7, 365. Yeah. Just it completes that circuit, and then it starts talking to the brains the whole operation. Okay which is in the CPU box. Then, right? Yep, here's our Sentry Plus Alert control box. This is gonna do a few things. So the first thing it does is it senses uh, the signal from that flood sensor. Mm -hmm. It starts a timer. These things, they can go off for a couple of seconds sometimes. Things like pressure fluctuations, supply pressure fluctuations, mm -hmm. will cause it to burn. So it's gonna- So it'll burn the... maybe incidentally throughout the years or something like that, but it might not trigger a real effect. So this is smart enough to tell you whether this is a minor incident or a major incident. Right. Okay. It's going to wait for something like 30 seconds. It's programmed what we recommend around there. Okay. And once you have continuous discharge for 30 seconds, odds are it's not one of those transient events. There's something happening. There's a real it's problem. Gonna, it's going to keep discharge. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. going to create a problem. Yep. So it talks to this. Now you have a few options. This can talk to a BMS system. BMS connectivity is very important, right? Yep. If you already have a system that is going to give you all the other kinds of alerts you need in your building. You want to be able to hook this into that. Got it. Okay. This can talk to your BMS, but your especially smaller customers, they might not have a BMS system. Sure. So they need some other way to get alerts. And we have our cellular gateway here. So this has a cell chip in it, just like your cell phone. You go onto our Sigta platform and you can set up alerts. So you can set up phone calls, text messages, emails. Uh, you know, if you have a building where you have 24 seven maintenance, you can call them, mm -hmm. you can call the front desk, something like that. And that way they know where to go. Uh, you name the valve in the system. They can come and they can deal with it before it's a real problem. So a lot of functionality there. You're then sensing for water, 365, so you've got yearly coverage. What else does a Sentry Plus Alert have to offer? So what we can do is we can connect this to one of our LFF113FP flood protection ACVs. So an ACV, an automated control valve. It's an automated control valve. Okay. And 
Because I'll never remember the model number. You just call me, that's what I'm here for. So what this can do is you can put it upstream in the backflow preventer, and then when the system goes off and it sends out the alert at the same time, what the control box will do, because it's smart enough to do it, is it'll talk to the ACV. Mm -hmm. uh, the ACV uses a little solenoid and the existing pressure in your system to hydraulically close. And that way you're gonna be able to close the valve, isolate this off from the rest of the system and hopefully stop that. So essentially you get notified if you have the ACV in conjunction with the whole entire setup, you can shut the problem down right then and there. Exactly, and it's important for our customers to have those different options. So do they just sure. want the sensing? You know, if you're in a place like a hospital, you might not want to just shut down the water automatically. Because they need water constantly in a 24 7 facility. Exactly, yeah, yeah. so you might want the opportunity to come down, switch over to another system before you shut this down. Okay, let's say I have a bunch of these in an existing building already. Can we just modify this onto what's already in the field, not a new install? So that's a great point. The, one of the best selling points of this is that it's retrofittable. You don't have to buy a brand new backflow preventer. You don't have to change out any of the components in it. Mm -hmm. You can go to an existing one and you're not modifying anything uh, on the actual backflow so it keeps all of its approvals. You're just putting the sensor and the discharge line, setting it up in your system, wiring it up, and you're good to go. So what are your an engineer or a contractor, you want to make sure that you get ahead of any problems that your customer could have. Because even if the valve is doing its job, if it causes some flood damage, they're going to be calling you and they're not going to be happy. Yeah. So there's a thirst in the market for getting upstream of these potential problems. Absolutely. And it plays into the whole smart and connected ecosystem that we're trying to create here at Watts. Because we have all this technology available to us mm -hmm. and we're going to leverage that to be able to make valves easier to install, or reduce risk. It's really the future of backflow and, and plumbing as a whole. Cool. Thanks for stopping by Contractor Corner. Cameron, appreciate your education here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you want to learn more about Century Plus, where do we find out? So you can go to watts.com. Uh, the URL is watts.com slash flood protection system. It's going to give you all of the information on this. And of course, you can always talk to your local Watts representative. Sounds good. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Cameron.